When I was first learning web development, I had no idea where to even start. People were like saying, oh, learn React, oh, learn JavaScript, oh, learn CSS, HTML. And then people were saying HTML wasn't a language. And I was like, what is happening? I have no idea. So what I'm going to do for you guys today is break down exactly how to learn web development as a complete beginner, like I did via online. We're first gonna go over what web development actually is because it is different than other coding languages. Then we're gonna go over the order of which you should learn the different languages of web development. So should you learn CSS before HTML, that kind of stuff. Then we're gonna go into kind of what classes you should be taking. So I'm gonna go over a paid version and then a free version for people who you know didn't have money like me when I was in college. And then we're gonna go over kind of tips for applying for a job and documenting your learning. If you're new here, I'm Liz. I'm a data science manager at Intel. So last year I learned web development and I went from all from starting basically from nothing all the way to learning everything up until React framework. So I did this whole journey last year and so I want to kind of break it down for everyone. So if you're interested in web development and all that jazz, feel free to subscribe. Otherwise, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so what is web development? Web development is basically how people make web pages on the internet. So when you open up Twitter or Facebook or basically any web page, you're seeing content that was coded in these website languages. So that's where you get into like HTML, CSS, JavaScript. They're talking about web development. Now this career path actually has pretty high money associated with it. So if you go all the way through web development into React, React web developers make like, I think the medium was $150,000 a year. Now that is an insane amount of money. So that's why it's interesting to kind of develop that skill set. Now the order in which you learn web development is very important because you don't want to start out with React if you don't know enough about HTML and CSS and how it all works together. So basically how web development is broken down is you first learn HTML, which is gonna be like the structure of your web pages. So at the top of a web page, there's like a header, right? That is an HTML tag. Those tags, you can change the color of the words on the header. So you can change it to red or pink. That is gonna be CSS, that's the styling. So you link those together and those two things make a web page. So you could make a web page with just HTML and CSS, but it's a static web page and it's not gonna do anything cool. If you wanna add buttons and if you wanna click things and interact with the page, you're gonna to have to learn JavaScript. So, so far we have HTML, CSS, JavaScript. And then you wanna tack on a framework. Now there's a couple different frameworks, but the main one nowadays is React. And that's that little like Adam symbol that you see floating around the internet. That's what they're talking about. But in order to wrap it all together, you also need to know stuff about like VS Code, Bootstrap, you're gonna hear all these kind of like crazy words like APIs, responsive, responsiveness, Netlify. You're gonna hear all these kind of crazy words and that's just kind of this extra bucket where there are extra tools on top of the classic main four things. So just keep that in mind when you go into web, web development, there's a lot of extra tools but you wanna focus on the first four. Okay, so now that you know the order in which you should learn things in, this is gonna determine how you want to go about learning this stuff. So the first option is to go get a computer science degree. Now, in a computer science degree, they're not just gonna focus on web development. You might take like one or two classes on web development, but they're also gonna teach you other things within computer science. But if you wanna do just a focus and you're focused on web development and you know that's your career path, you can bypass the whole computer science degree. There's a lot of companies who don't require it. So just think about what you want. And if you want a computer science degree, it will open more doors. But if you just focus on web development, you could also do it that way. Now the paid course that I recommend is a company called SheCodes. Yes, unfortunately this is for women only. Now I think you can be a guy and like sign up and just say you're a chick because the classes are so good. So this is how I learned web development myself. I took all four courses. So I took the basics, I took plus, I took the responsiveness, and then I took the React course. So all four and then I was considered like a web developer, right? Now the cool thing about SheCodes is they're real projects. So you can actually make real projects and then put them on your resume or CV or whatever in order to broadcast your skills to the world. But the best thing is the accountability aspect. So you sign up on a Monday 
and like your homework is due every week. You have actual deadlines, you have actual student graders, you have actual help on Slack that you can message people if you have questions. And the other best thing is they fill in the gaps that I feel like a lot of the other boot camps and a lot of the other classes, free classes skip over, which is downloading the code editor, how to host your website, like it bootstrap, like all the additional things that are like industry standard that I feel like are skipped over in some of those basic coding classes. Okay, so if you're looking for something that's actually free, I recommend two different sites. One is Code Academy and the other one is Free Code Camp. So Free Code Camp, obviously it says Free Code Camp. That is your best bet as far as like free education and there's a lot of other classes as well if you're not super set on web development. And then Code Academy also has a ton of other courses on there as well, a lot of them are free. Now, while you're learning web development, you should be documenting this. Now you can document it on Twitter. You could document it on TikTok. You could document it on YouTube. I did this as I was learning web development. And then when I was applying for jobs, specifically computer science jobs or data science jobs or any, any job that remotely revolved around web development or coding, they could look and see, oh, she, she spent a year diving into web development and they can kind of see your progress and how you're thinking. And this is another way to kind of almost make up for the fact that you didn't get a computer science degree because I have an engineering degree and I am now in a computer science role. I did not need to get a computer science degree because I've been documenting it. I well, I also have the engineering background, it kind of helps. But it, it kind of will make up for the fact that you didn't get an, a technical degree. So a lot of companies will bypass you for that. Okay, the last and final step is to start applying for jobs. So let's just say that you went through everything all the way up to React, you are a web developer. Now you wanna start applying for web developer roles. So you're usually gonna go into a junior web developer role. That's kind of what you're looking for. Entry level, junior level, like, you know, start small. If you're still not getting traction, I would consider going back to school and getting a computer science degree and just having that in your back pocket. Now, there are ones that you could do online that are four years. Typically, they are four year degrees. You can do them online, they're expensive. So if you're not quite getting the jobs that you want, consider that, but it's not completely necessary. Now, when you start crafting your resume, you definitely want to showcase that you're a web developer because there are backend developers, front end developer. Front end developer is the same thing as a web developer. So that's all the same thing. You can call yourself a front end developer or a web developer. They should know what that is and say what other skills you have on top of just the HTML, CSS, JavaScript and React. You definitely want to add in Bootstrap and some of those other things. Now, if you want help with building your resume, I have a resume building class on Skillshare. So I will link it below because you get like 30 days free. So you could like watch the class and then cancel if you really don't want to spend the money. So just an option, but I will link it below. So that was a few steps on how to go into web development specifically in 2022. But if you want to know more details on the She Codes class that I mentioned before, I have a review on it. So I will link it here. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.